When it comes to tech devices and all things smartphones, Apple certainly needs no introduction. Since the dawn of the 2000s, Apple and its products have been all over the market. And now the iPhone, for example, has become a symbol of society. As such, the net value of the Apple company exceeds $2 trillion, a feat that not many companies can brag about. However, as successful as Apple may be, the company is not without its competitors. And one of the most notable ones is the Chinese electronics company Xiaomi. For the past three to four years, Xiaomi has been a threat to the dominance of Apple in certain areas of the world. And with each passing day, Xiaomi may be winning this challenge. In this video, we'll be talking about how Xiaomi is challenging the decade-long Apple dominance in the smartphone and electronics industry. We at Business Chronicles tell extraordinary business stories. Please subscribe to our channel to help us make more videos. For the longest time, many people have thought of Samsung as Apple's biggest or most worthy competition. But Xiaomi is doing some pretty big things. It has been for the past couple of years, and now this company has become virtually impossible to ignore. While we can recognize the success story of this Chinese tech giant, we can't go on without acknowledging its humble beginnings and the difficult journey to becoming one of the top electronics companies in Asia. Xiaomi was founded in 2010 by Chinese businessmen Lei Jun and six other business associates, including former Google executive Lin Bin. Now a multi-billionaire, Lei Jun had rather humble beginnings. But one thing had always been evident, his goal to be a tech entrepreneur. After graduating from Wuhan University in 1992, Lei started working for Kingsoft, a Chinese software company. After working there for about six years, Lei worked his way to the top and was appointed CEO of the company. However, his appointment at Kingsoft didn't stop him from pursuing his dreams. While working as CEO of Kingsoft, Lei set up an online bookstore, Joyo.com. In 2004, however, the Chinese businessman sold his bookstore to Amazon for $75 million. Joyo.com is now Amazon China, an online marketplace for more than just books. Lei worked for Kingsoft for a couple more years before resigning and becoming a full-time angel investor. He invested in over 20 business startups and still invests in various companies through Xinwei Capital, a top venture capital company in Beijing. In 2008, Li Jun worked as a chairman at UC Browser, and he worked here for two years before resigning and founding Xiaomi. In 2010, Lei set up a team to help him build his goal, and this team consisted of six other people, each of them experts in their fields of interest. Lin Bin, vice president of Xiaomi and radio electronics graduate, Dr. Zhao Guangping, head of Xiaomi's hardware and BS teams. Liu Dei, who oversees the industrial design and ecosystem development teams at Xiaomi. Wang Cheng Li, a senior vice president at Xiaomi who is responsible for the company's marketing. Wang Kong Kat, in charge of the company's Wi-Fi and cloud teams. And finally, Hong Feng, in charge of Xiaomi's mobile operating system. Together, these seven men have built an extraordinary company that has come a long way since it released its first smartphone in 2011. Today, Xiaomi's products include mobile phones, apps, wearables, home appliances, and smart home devices. As if that wasn't enough, the company publicly announced a new goal in 2023, to become a top five largest automaker in the world. Xiaomi has already started down that path with the release of its first electric vehicle, the Xiaomi SU7. A consequence of being a successful brand is being compared to many competitors. Now, not many of Xiaomi's competitors produce electric vehicles, but many of Xiaomi's everyday electronics products stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with other companies, including the great Apple. Why does Xiaomi have the upper hand? As of 2023, Xiaomi has over 33,000 employees and operates on a global scale. It is now the second largest smartphone manufacturer in the world, second only to Samsung. Xiaomi products stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Apple products worldwide. But this competition is in Xiaomi's favor in many countries, including China. In November 2023, Apple's daily sales in China declined by 4%, while Xiaomi's increased by about 28%. This shift in sales is now seen in China, India, and many other Asian countries. The popularity of Xiaomi in China is mostly because the country is the birthplace of the company. But this cannot explain the sustained and increasing influence of Xiaomi in China. For one, Xiaomi has strong ties with the Chinese government, 
which favors its competitiveness over Apple in China. Another reason is that Xiaomi prices cater to the budgets of a wide range of customers. Unlike the iPhone and other Apple products which are known for their high prices and maintenance costs, Xiaomi products are the opposite. Their products range from budget-friendly to premium, and the price of a particular product doesn't compromise its effectiveness or quality. That way, there is something for everyone with Xiaomi, and there's no better way to attract and retain customers than having an inclusive list of products. Furthermore, Xiaomi products are trendy. From the software to the design and everything in between, Xiaomi prioritizes practicality and incorporates the latest trends into their recent products. These trends include high-resolution cameras, fast charging, Type-C charging, high refresh rate displays, long-lasting batteries, and so on. These are the bare minimum qualities for smartphones in 2024, and Xiaomi products have these qualities for the most affordable prices. The price and design combination appeal to many customers in China and across Asia, particularly the tech-savvy ones. On the other hand, with Apple, the more affordable a product is, the more out of touch it is with the ongoing trends. For this reason alone, it is a no-brainer that the amount of sales of Xiaomi products is much higher than Apple's in certain countries. Additionally, Xiaomi has a strong brand presence in the electronics market and effective marketing strategies. In many Asian countries, Xiaomi's accessibility is stronger than Apple's, making it the more recognizable brand. They also offer impeccable customer care services and post-sales support, making Xiaomi more reliable and favored among customers. What does the future hold for Xiaomi? Since its inception in 2010, Xiaomi has experienced exponential growth for all the reasons we've already discussed and more. Being compared with a largely successful company like Apple or Samsung is no joke. Xiaomi has a flourishing ecosystem. However, about 60% of its sales come from roughly 200 million smartphones sold yearly. That is a lot of smartphones. Judging by how well things are looking for this company, the values are expected to increase in the coming years. Currently, Samsung is a bigger competition for Xiaomi than Apple, specifically in Asia and Africa. Only time can tell whether Xiaomi will eventually dominate Samsung as well, but right now, Xiaomi is exerting undeniable pressure on Apple in certain parts of the world. And might I add, these are the most populated parts. With that, we've come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.